right so the topic is potential energy of a spring okay so this is the diagram and i have a object of mass is m which is connected through a massless spring okay and the other end of the spring is connected through a rigid wall so here this vertical wall is nothing but rigid wall okay so initially the object is at rest state that means what external force is equal to zero whenever an external force is equal to zero automatically the displacement also zero and there is no restoring force was developed in the spring so f is equal to zero x is equal to zero as well as restoring force also is equal to zero okay now coming to the second point so in the case of second point my applied force will be acting along positive x axis direction along this direction okay so due to this external force object also moves along with the direction of the force so displacement also in same direction but the restoring force which is pulling back the spring in opposite direction so this is the restoring force right and look at the diagram carefully applied force as well as frictional sorry restoring force always opposite to each other okay so due to this applied force displacement also positive and restoring force is negative okay now coming to the third diagram here my applied force is pushing the black inward along x axis direction so in this case the spring is compressed so that means the spring is trying to come to original position that means the restoring force which is acting forward x axis direction so that displacement also negative and restoring force is positive okay so these three points i mentioned here point number 1 point number 2 as well as point number 3 okay now coming to the derivation part the derivation part is from this diagram clearly we can understand the restoring force fr is directly proportional to displacement but it is negative why because restoring force always directly proportional to displacement but which is acting in opposite direction okay so i am going to remove this proportionality constant so that we can write it as fr is equal to uh, some constant k into x okay so whenever the restoring force is acting here the object also displaced displacement also will be there so the product of force and displacement is called work done okay so the work done work done dw is equal to f into dx so instead of external force i am taking a restoring force so dw is equal to uh, minus kx into dx okay so this is the smallest work done was happening if you want a total work done means we can integrate this work done with respect to uh, different intervals right so for total work done for total work done we can integrate we can integrate between two limits between two limits so what are the two limits initial displacement x i2 final displacement xf let us see the integration term integral dw is equal to integral minus kx dx which is varying from initial displacement x i2 final displacement xf okay now take the constant term outside we know that integral dw means w that is equal to minus k into integral x dx okay so what is the mathematics uh, integration formula integral x power n dx is equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 okay so i am going to use this formula to get the displacement okay so work done is equal to minus k into <coughs> x square by 2 which is varying from initial displacement to final displacement okay now first substitute this final displacement here and then minus initial displacement here okay so the net work done w is equal to 
minus k into x f square by 2 so again minus of minus is plus x i square by 2 ok so I am going to rearrange the term so that net work done is equal to k x i square by 2 minus k x f square by 2 so this is the work done ok so but our concept is potential energy of a spin right so this work done is nothing but in the form of potential energy u is equal to k x i square by 2 minus k x f square by 2 ok so this is the potential energy of a spring derivation ok thank you thank you so much